Charity was wondering what basics you should always keep in your kitchen store cupboard. Well, Christina, it really will depend on your own personal preferences and what you tend to like to cook. For me though, I know that if I have a few basics as building blocks, then with just a few extra fresh ingredients each time, I can make a whole string of meals. So I'll give you a quick guide as to what I would keep in my cupboard. Obviously it will build and grow over time. But for example, to start off with some staple ingredients, rice, pasta, couscous, polenta, lasagna sheets, things like that, they're never going to go off. They'll stay in the cupboard and you can always use them as the basis or the starch content of your meal. When you're cooking, we tend to use a lot of oil. I prefer two types, a really cheap kind of basic oil for frying and things like that, and also a more flavoursome olive oil, perfect for salads, dressings, and if you remember our tuna linguine recipe, we even infused our own oil, so that's ideal too. Always handy to keep two types in the cupboard. When you come to cooking, you need to add loads of flavour, so spices are great. Um, don't go overboard from the start. You can build these up over time, buying one or two as and when you need them. But a few basics you will need, salt, pepper, stock cubes, maybe some dried spices and herbs, chilli powder, things like that. You can always resort to buying mixed blends, barbecue seasoning, a garam masala or a Chinese five spice, and they've already got those sort of blended for you. Other ways of adding flavour, you've got things like tomatoes, great for sauce, in the tin cupboards. So always keep tin tomatoes, possibly even some tomato puree to hand. Tin fish, ideal for pasta dishes again, or fish cakes and things like that. And why not, if you've got it, why not keep some tin fruit as well? Always handy for last minute desserts. A bit of a cheat, but really useful. So that's there. And if you do like desserts and sweet things, then flour and sugar, ideal to keep in there for part of your baking. Potentially baking powder, vanilla essence and things like that as well. And along the baking theme, flour, egg and milk in the fridge, always useful to help to hand, as are potato, onion and garlic in the larder. They're not going to go off, they'll stay there for weeks and you pretty much use them at the start of most savoury dishes. So that's very much the basics. Of course there's other things you'll add, pestos, mustards, horseradish sauces, things like that. But for now, that's a great starting point. So Christina, I know we're through them all. If you do want a more comprehensive list, then head over to our website. The link is in the box below and you can see it all. But there it is, the cupboard basics, sorted.